Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to use temporary access pass in Microsoft Entra ID. A temporary access pass is a time limited pass code that can be configured for single or multiple use. The temporary access pass allows the user to securely sign in to the Microsoft Cloud within a defined time period to set up additional authentication methods. These secure authentication methods include passwordless methods such as FIDO2 security keys or the Microsoft Authenticator application. The limited time period for access authorizations makes the temporary access pass an indispensable tool for security guidelines and compliance requirements. So TAP helps to register a passwordless authentication methods without users specify a personal email address or a mobile phone at the first registration. Generating a temporary access pass is a two-step process. Step 1 Enable and configure the temporary access pass policy. Step 2. Creating a temporary access pass. A TAP policy defines settings such as the lifetime of passes created in the tenant or the users and groups who can use a TAP to sign in. Before users can sign in with a TAP, you need to enable this method in the authentication method policy and choose which users and groups can sign in by using a TAP. Although you can create a tab for any user, only users included in the policy can sign in with it. Those with at least the authentication policy administrator role can update the tab authentication method policy. Let's access and log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Just to let you know, we are using the Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. In the first step, we will configure the TAP authentication method policy in our Microsoft Entra tenant. Expand Protections and click on Authentication Methods. We will be on the Authentication Methods Policies page. By default, the temporary access pass is enabled for all Microsoft Entra users. Click on Temporary Access Pass. Enable the temporary access pass if it isn't already enabled. And select the users or groups authorized to use this sign-in method. We also have the option to exclude specific users from this authentication policy if we don't want it to apply to them. For this demo, I'll keep all users options selected as we aim to target all existing users. Switch to configure tab and set the temporary access pass to work as expected. Click on add it. You can leave the validity at the default, but I recommend thinking about the length of the generated passcode and whether or not to force a one-time use. Enforcing a one-time use is generally more secure, but on the other hand, there may be situations where a temporary access pass needs to be reused. When using a one-time tab to register a passwordless method such as FIDO2 or phone sign-in, the user must complete the registration within 10 minutes. This limitation does not apply to a tab that can be used more than once. Keep in mind that while creating a tab, the admin can override the default lifetime to a period somewhere between the maximum and minimum limit set here. For this example, I'm going to change the length of the tab to 12 characters. You can adjust these settings according to your organization's requirements. After modifying the settings, click on Update to save the changes. At the bottom of the page, click Save to apply the changes. Wait for the success confirmation message. After you enable a TAP policy, you can create a temporary access pass for a user in Microsoft Entra ID. Expand Users and click on All Users. You can select the user you would like to create a TAP for. In this example, I am going to create a new user account for testing purpose. Click on New User and select Create New User. Let me specify the user principal name of this user account. Let's add display name. 
I have specified the user principal name Rachin at msftwebcast.in and the user account is going to get auto-generated password. Click on Review plus Create button. Click on Create to create new user account with the display name Rachin Ravindra. We can confirm that the user is created successfully. Now select the user Rachin Ravindra. Click on Authentication Methods. Click on Add Authentication Method. From the Choose Method drop-down menu, select Temporary Access Pass. Define a Custom Activation Time or Duration. You can delay Start Time of the tab. For example, you know that a new employee is coming next Monday, you can delay the tab for the next Monday. For that, you have the option to select date in time as well as the time zone. You can also choose the tab activation duration and if the tab is usable one time or several time. I'm not going to modify any of the settings, we'll go with the default settings. Click on Add. When the tab is created, you are able to copy the tab to your clipboard. You can also see the information about the lifetime. The tab itself will only show once, so make sure you copy it for later use. If you want, you can copy the tab and registration URL to Notepad. If you forget to copy the tab, you will need to delete the existing valid tab and create a new one as users can only have one tab at a time. We are now ready to start using temporary access passes. Let's see the steps for end users on how to use the temporary access pass. Open new in private window. Let me copy the URL. Let's paste that URL in address bar and hit enter key. Enter the UPN of the user account you use the tab for, such as rachin at msftwebcast.in and click next. Copy the temporary access pass. Let's paste the temporary access pass and click on sign in. Once logged in, they will see the security information details of the temporary access pass. Now the user is signed in and has the option to register a passwordless authentication method like Microsoft Authenticator application. Click on Add Sign In Method. Choose Authenticator app from the drop down list. Click on Add. Refer to the steps outlined in the previous video for setting up the Microsoft Authenticator app for your Microsoft Entry user account. A link to that video is available in the description section. Click on Cancel. Also, user is able to delete the tab if the registration is done. Users who update their authentication methods due to losing their credentials or device should make sure that they remove the old authentication methods. Users can also continue to sign in by using their password. A tab doesn't replace a user's password. Administrators can also delete the temporary access pass from the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Let me show you that. Go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Let's close Tab Details page. Click on three dots menu and click on Delete. A confirmation pop-up appears. Are you sure you want to delete this temporary access pass? Click on Yes to delete the tab for the selected user account. That's it for today's video on how to configure and use temporary access pass in Microsoft Entra ID. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.